Hi, my name is Ricky Ainsworth, and I've been a member of the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association since I was you know, eight or nine. I try to get here a couple times every month. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, with visitors' nights through the summer, it's always it's always a good excuse to get out here and, and uh, help some other people do observing. I do get a chance to through through my work. I get a chance to come out here a lot with with school groups. Um, and sort of, uh, usually it's younger kids, usually elementary school kids who get to come out here and we take little tours of the facility and look at the telescopes and things. And that's one of my favorite parts about being involved with the observatory and the Astronomy Association is getting to, getting to sort of see the, see the kids experience it for the first time. A lot, have never, uh, a lot of them have never gotten the chance to look through a telescope before or, or uh, even see a telescope before up close and personal. So it's kind of, it's exciting to see their faces light up for the first time. My name is Kevin Jung. I'm the pr current president of the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association. I also am the director of internet operations for our club, and uh, so I take care of our website. Visitors' nights um, start in the spring and go through October. It's always the second and last Saturday of each month, if it's clear. Uh, we have a recorded message that gives directions out here for individuals, sort of tells them what they're going to look at and what they can expect. Depending on the day, we could be looking at the moon or a planet or a deep sky object like a nebula or a uh, star cluster. And they get to tour the facilities, ask questions of all the experts around. You get to see things that you just, you know, especially in living near a big city like Grand Rapids, there's not very much of the night sky you can see. You go out to the middle of the ocean and a boat, turn off all the lights and you'd be amazed what you can see. But near a big city like Grand Rapids, you really don't see very much of the night sky at all. Very, very little of it. And this gives you a chance to see some objects that you would just not normally see. And coming out here and enjoying that view, it can be a lot of fun. Oh, they can come out and look through uh, sometimes a half a dozen, 10, 12, you know, how many ever telescopes that uh, members have brought plus the telescopes here at the observatory and they can see everything. They can, they can look at the moon or look at the, uh, a planet or two that's prominent in the nighttime sky. They can look at deep sky objects, galaxies, and nebula, and star clusters, things like that. There's a lot to be seen. Um, fo my photographs and other photographs from other astronomy club members are available on our website which is at www.graaa.org. Um, that's a place to go for any information uh, pertaining to our club and the observatory and what we do. I like looking at deep sky objects the best because it's amazing how much you can see through telescopes that you can't see naked eye and you couldn't, like, you don't think it's there, but it is. Seeing some of the expressions on people's faces when they're looking through the telescope um, at some of these objects that Again, like the planets, they've never seen that themselves. And they're just amazed at how clear an image you can get out of a 60 inch telescope. I remember one night using the biggest scope that the club, one of the members has, it's called Big Bubba. And that was a lot of fun. Me and another junior got to use it. And we got to look at things that, you know, with normal scopes, it would take up the entire view, but or be like a part of the view and then with that telescope you had to look at like four or five different areas of it in order to see the entire thing. So it was really neat seeing that so close up. And you, especially the planets, you get comments like, is there a picture in there that I'm looking at? Um, some of them are seeing Saturn for the first time and that is a breathtaking experience really, to see Saturn for yourself through a telescope pictures from Voyager or anything. Um, that can be quite a thrill, for some people at least. Uh, I think the Astronomy Club and our observatory is a good educational opportunity. Um, it's very family friendly and family oriented. Um, a lot of things today are don't stress a lot of science, and if something is stressed by science, it's stressed as hard. And astronomy is actually, if you get into it, you can be as 
as in, into it as you want to. You can um, be an egghead or you could just be a casual observer. Um, as I've getting older, that's still, that's still fun, kind of the social aspect of coming out and observing and, and hanging out with friends and, and, uh, uh, and that, that sort of thing. Um, and also just, you know, my, I, I, I enjoy observing myself. It's fun to come out here and uh, even when there's not anyone else, out, anyone else out here, come out here alone and, and, and do some observing. It's, it's, uh, it's very uh, quiet and kind of an uh, atmosphere of solitude when you're out here just you and the, you looking at the stars. It's, it's something that I haven't found anywhere else.